All right, looks like we are going to be getting started in this match. This let's see, looks like, OK. Yeah, looks like we're going to be having <coughs> Fizz and Gil versus, I do believe this is, Mario. yeah, Blanca Lamb and Dogs are awesome, I do believe. All right, we're seeing the. Pac-Man. Hopefully there's not an issue with Dogs Are Awesome using Panda's controls. Uh, we're gonna have to find out. But they're up to a decent start for Fizz and Gil. Oh, yeah, it looks like the controls were an issue. So I'm guessing we're gonna be restarting this with the updated controls. You know, I guess it makes sense the name Panda for the Zoo Pals does fit the theme. You'd have Panda and Blanca Lamb. That, those are both animals. That counts. All right, getting back into this now. I do believe this is going to be a best of five, so... We're going to get plenty of gameplay to watch here. All right, let's see. Getting, oh, a nice, nice job getting both of them in that combo there by Fizz. And we're just going to have to see the, if they can get by the Pac-Man continually faring in neutral, as Pac-Man players sometimes do. Oh, that's both of Red Team is in a disadvantage. That's going to be interesting to see if they can get back, but it looks like they are able to. Well, Blanc Lamb's back out there, but Fizz decides to go after Dogs Are Awesome instead of edge guarding Blanca. Gil getting caught up in that Pyra side B. Oh, but Dogs Are Awesome getting hit by an up smash from Snake, and that is definitely going to do it. That Hydrant is really helping keep that stage control and a bit of separation, but there's also a snake on the other team, so that's not necessarily something that's going to be only helpful for Zoo Pals. Oh, but that key with the snipe on Gil, that's a pretty good kill getting you're able to get there. Oh. Looks like Fizz is trying to get by as Blanca loses a stock. Oh, getting both of them in that jab. That was a pretty nice way of dealing with them. Oh, that was a nice combo, that down air to F smash. A good team combo. And now both of the blue team are off stage. And they're able to make it back on. And actually, Blanca ends up off stage instead. But. Oh wow, that up smash connecting and doing a lot of work for the blue team. Oh, that smart Blanca is basically walling them out while Dogs is getting whatever fruit they want. That's very, very useful in a double situation like this. Oh, and there goes Mario. Uh, one moment. Oh, 
All right, I am back here. And looks like I got back here just in time to see that Carry for Prime has definitely taken the lead. But Dog's trying to take it back by taking that stock from Gale. If they can manage to get a nice early kill or something, they might be able to do a pretty good job bringing that back. But it's definitely going to be some work against uh, such a well balanced team as Fizzbleepa and Gil. But both of the Zoo Pals are looking pretty high damage, so they're going to have to definitely put some work in. Oh, interesting. Taking the stock from both the enemy player and their own teammate. Maybe not the best option because now they're left in the two versus one thanks to the restock. But Pac-Man's very good at trying to keep the opponents out, so it may be something that Dogs is going to be able to do, just keeping the opponents out and fighting them one-on-one. -on -one. Fizz is staying back, getting ready, and letting Gil handle this. Looks like they might be going for a grab combo. Oh, the C4 on Fizz. That's going to be dangerous, because if that gets transferred over... Oh, but a great air dodge to get past that. That's... Very impressive. Once again, using that hydrant to keep that separation between these two, and hopefully being able to fight just one at a time, racking up damage slowly but surely, but at this point, any hits are very bad, because at 170, you definitely don't want to be here. Yep, and that throw being a bit too laggy and getting punished by Mario. Alright, looks like it's the same characters coming out from Zoo Pals. But are we going to be seeing switches from Prey for Prime? Oh, we're seeing... No, not Joker. Wolf! Alright, so we're getting a character change from Mario to Wolf for Fizz. We'll see if uh, they're able to continue the success. Oh, looks like they're going to FD. It's going to be pretty interesting with so many characters that have projectiles. There's Pac-Man, there's Wolf Laser, then of course there's everything that Snake has. I, I do want to see for sure if Hydrant is still going to be able to be a very good tool to keep out of their red team zone. I don't see it being as useful maybe when there's 2v2, but in that 1v2 it really played a big role. Let's see. Looks like... Oh, Blanca with the on-stage recovery to get some nice damage on Gil. Oh, not quite connecting that F smash in the jab, but that flaming edge is going to definitely be very good for stage control. Another on-stage upbeat for Blanca land. Oh, no. That was quite an interaction. The side B from Fizz ending up spiking dogs, but then gets killed by Blanca as punishment. That's a pretty big trade right there. Good heads up play for Blanca to get that finish. Oh, catching both of Blue Team in that side B. 
And now both blue team is in disadvantage, but they are able to make it back. And then the C4 self-destruct. This is looking pretty close so far. Red team keeping that stage control and making it a bit tough for Fizz and Gil to make it back. Oh, and there goes the stock for Fizz. And the combos coming out from the red team are doing pretty well, it seems. And oh, that hydrant, but it does seem Blanca Lane went down. I was looking away for a second. I didn't catch what caused that, but... Oh. Okay, carry for Prime starting to take a bit of a lead here. Let's see if they can hold on to that extra stock that Gil has been holding on to for a bit. If they can stay alive and get up the damage on the last stock of Red Team, that will be very helpful. Oh. All right, there goes that extra stock, and every player is now on their last stock. Oh, interrupting the F-Smash from Gil. Oh. Gil getting caught up in that side B. Good, good awareness from dogs being aware of how to save their partner out of that snake grab. Oh, but there goes Dogs there to... Oh, and now it's another 2v1 for Red Team. This time it's Blanca, though. Will Blanca be able to keep them both out and get that damage that's needed? After all, they are both at pretty high percent. And Pyra can kill pretty early if Blanca can manage to get a kill. Oh, that grab not quite getting the follow-up that they might have wanted. Oh, and that up smash is too laggy. And there goes... There goes game two to carry for Prime. I would update the score on stream, but I don't want to mess anything up, and I'm going to leave that to the professionals, but the current score is 2-0 for carry for Prime. We're going to be seeing the same characters as last game so far. Unless, no, it looks like, yeah, same characters. Projectiles just getting right in the middle of that big group and dealing damage will to be indiscriminately. Oh, that F smash not quite doing quite what was wanted, I don't think, but. Oh, and catching the teammate in the side B, that does tend to happen sometimes against something as hectic as the double smash. Oh, wow, that. Was that a down smash? That almost killed. That was. Very close. Oh, and Blanca air dodging into that up smash. Oh, and the get up attack knocking the hydrant into Blanca now. But saying all that, Gil was still the first one to lose a stock. So that is deficit that the blue team's gonna want to get fast very quickly. But if they keep hitting such strong moves on dogs, I don't doubt that they'll be able to do that. However, dogs. Still staying alive, doing what they can to keep at it. But now they've both lost a stock, and there goes Fizz as well. Everyone on two stocks. The Gil has a significant amount of damage relative to the rest of the players. As we'll see. You've got Dogs keeping a bit of an edge guard on Fizz here, but Fizz able to get back with that get up attack. And. Ooh, the down smash almost knocking the hydrant into Gil, but not quite. And now 
That looks like Dox is coming over to... Oh, wow, that was interesting. That up tilt also knocking the Hydrant into Dox. Oh, and Blanca Lamb uses the stock right there. Oh, wow. You don't see that very often. The Pac-Man being low enough to not be able to recover. That trampoline not quite enough to save him. So now it's significant lead now for carry for Prime in this game three. They are each up one stock on their counterparts. And racking up that damage pretty quickly. Lunk is already at 96. That is definitely not ideal. Oh, almost got that F smash out of the grab, but not quite. Carry for Prime is doing a great job of well, I was about to say they're doing a good job of holding onto their stocks, but then they lost both of them in quick succession. However, Blanc Lamb going down like that, and it is back to a 2v1. Two fresh stocks versus a Pac-Man at 110. I think if Dogs wants another chance, they might need to try to hurry up and get that percentage up, but that side... Oh, yeah. That's going to do it. And that is 3-0 for Carried 4 Prime.